haven't done it already, we will generate a letter to your kind personally for your congressman with your name on it. All you need to do is sign it. We'll send it off free for nothing. So uh, uh, take a minute. Satellite ready. And it's got a satellite mode, and it works nice when I can get it to program. 
front of it, or the cat does, or my boys do, and everything gets reset. It's that sound this of your one, own voice that yeah. I was telling you about? And with the software, I can export all my memories and all my settings, except for the satellite mode. The escape, you got to know this satellite is it's an old satellite, and the batteries in it are dead. So it only works when it's in daylight. It's and daylight. They have set it up so that it is not on necessarily for the entire pass. Yeah. It'll generally turn on when you're about what, 45 degrees ballpark. Yeah, this has what they call a TOPR schedule. I have no idea what that stands for, but it means that once when it kicks, it only runs for 420 seconds, seven minutes. So it's not uncommon you're not looking for this one that you don't find it, you don't find it, you don't find it, and all of a sudden it comes on because they programmed it for pretty much overhead US. And when it comes on, you'll hear it sounds like a moto squawk. Because what it's doing is it's downloading telemetry to its controllers. It also did the same thing just before it shuts off. Yeah. So you'll be working it, people will be talking like mad, and all of a sudden, mm -hmm. it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> is this the one that was launched for some weeks and died in the 80s and came back to life? Yeah, I think it is, isn't it? Eddie? No, this was actually launched in 1993. But I, I, I remember reading about when you're talking. Yeah, I remember that. I read that article. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They thought it was completely dead, and all of a sudden it came back to South Africa. This is the one we're going to try and catch today. When it is turned on, it's a good satellite. It's easy to work. But since it's owned by the South Africans, they like to keep it turned on when it's over Africa and heck with us. So it's often turned off when it goes over the U.S. Kind of an interesting side note about SO-67 is it was, they launched it from a Russian submarine.